to them now. Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Satra Subhasai. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting on the red corner, 25 years of age. His stand of 167 centimeters tall and red weight at 26 pounds. He holds record of 62 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. He is the current two for you featherweight champion and the former Rasanda Stadium featherweight champion representing Lai Province, Thailand, the champion for Thailand, the Asian of the blue color, 27 years of age. This stand of 165 cm tall and weighted at 124.7 pounds. He holds a record of 43 wins and 12 losses. He is Kruda Monoton belt winner, representing Trang Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Surasak Kruda Okay, it's time. Who wants it? Surasak, again, a fighter who came out as one of the biggest underdog of this tournament. Absolutely. Some of the displays of power that we've witnessed have made up for maybe the technique that the other fighters mm. possess more so than he does. Well, as it stands right now, both of these fighters have three points, which means that the winner of this fight will go through. Tentative there to the face by Chyla. Again, you can see Suicide looking in ridiculous condition. <laughs> as always. Oh, right kick to the body there. Suicide. Oh, yeah. Dig his toes in. Oh, oh good. Kick to the body reply there from Chyla. You think about Chyla, you think about technique, timing. Suicide is all power though. Chyla's gonna have to. Utilize that footwork, but he knows he has to stay away from the power shots of Surasak. Take his time. Ooh, Ooh. nice good head movement there from Surasak. Tyler whipping that left kick to the legs and to the body. Both of these fighters so fast. You can still see under the eye of Chyla. A cut from previous bout in the tournament. Small cut. Block there from Surasak. It's clear that Chyla has the speed advantage with mm. Surasak looking the stronger of the two. Surasak does not want to be waiting too long for, Su for Chyla though. And see the way Chyla is slowly moving in using feints, footwork. Yeah, there's a cut already. You said, oh, the goal's going for that cut, which is smart. Yeah, absolutely. Those left hooks makes complete sense trying to reopen that cut, and there it is again. Left kick, left hand combination from Surasak. An injury oh, that wasn't left -hand fully kick. healed, and now Surasak might just be in control of this round. Still very, very close. Oh, look at that. Beautiful left kick once again there from Chyla. Left hand feint to throw the left kick. Chyla was performing very well in the oh. <laughs> Surasak just comes back, opening up that cut, playing to it. But now here comes Chyla once again. And here's why Chyla is such a high level fighter, so disciplined. Almost out working Surasak. Blocking that kick. He's still from. It might have hurt Surasak though when he did block that kick. Here he comes again. Right kicks this time. And off oh, round number one. Once again, you see. RBS Mo fighters raising their hands. Suggest that they think they did enough in that round. I mean, pretty clear that Chyla was the more active of the two. But it's also pretty clear that from that eye injury that Surasak has probably done more damage. Let's have a look at the highlights from that round. Surasak's dying strong. 
And then Chaila took over. You can see the left kick, left hand. Oh, 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 oh. Got it right open after yeah, he that. almost ducked into that left kick. Back and forth round. Sorry, Sack. You do see the openings. You will be telling him to go after that eye, without a doubt. But what you can't do is consistently stand back like you did in that round and eat those left kicks. We're going to have to see a lot more now from Surasak here in round number two. Big round for both these two, of course. <laughs> Here's Surasak, as you would expect now, on the attack. Mm. Ooh, good left hand there from China. Oh, 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 oh. Reply from Surasak. Throwing leather is connected. Oh, elbow strike there from China on the back foot. An elbow attack from Surasak in reply. We talked about the power from Surasak. Shaila needs to be careful. Surasak a little bit unorthodox. By the way, he throws shots. Not something that Shaila is used to. Oh, good left hand there. Three times. It's interesting when you look at these two and the way they fight, you would consider Surasak to be more suited to a three-round fight. Mm. But you can see the way these stadium fighters have adapted their styles like you, unlike Shaila, to the three rounds here on RWS. Chaila now backing up Surasak. It's not good for Surasak. Yeah, absolutely not. Forward. Now, is it a matter of stamina, though? Surasak at this age, a big fury in the very first minute, but now is he slowing down? Oh, but look at that. As I say, that beautiful timing. Sure, there'll be also worries on, in the corners of Chaila. I mean, not looking ahead too much, mm. but that wound, that cut, that swelling. Final four, of course. Absolutely. Only, what, four or five weeks away. Yeah, not only it does bother you during the fight, but during the training. Yeah, well, maybe I'm thinking too far ahead right now, but... Yeah, absolutely. Gotta get First past off. Surasak. Surasak holding his ground. But now that he's not really active, though... Left hand there, straight through the guard. Started off well. Now taking a small break, I want to say, he's yeah, taking a pose. Right. He's going to have to do something, though. Oh, oh look at that. Chyla after off, balancing Surasak. Like I said earlier, Chyla, so disciplined. By the way, he fights. It doesn't matter if he's winning or losing by a lot. Keeps on doing what he's supposed to do. Keep going by the game plan. He's finding a hole for that left hand, combining it with that left kick. Oh, look There's at that. that. Left hand again. Far too easy. Oh. Oh. Needs to be careful, though. You see the corner of Surasak, they're screaming at him to push and try and take it to Chaila, which is not really doing right now. Chaila's still confident, though. He's looking good, Chylar, in this round. I think round one was relatively close. I think this is not that close, to be honest. I think Chylar is the most proficient fighter Absolutely. in that round. Even though Suicide is looking happy with his performance, I don't think no, no. that was enough <laughs> for him to win this round. I don't think he showed, showed enough at all. And if it wasn't, that means he's going to need a knockout in order to win this fight. Let's have a look at the highlights from round two. He started well, he started on fire. Absolutely. He's doing exactly what we thought he needed to do, what he should do, but then he slowed down. And it allowed Chyla to then just form those patterns, throwing that left hand, throwing that left kick. He was troubling right now in the final four. He's got one round to survive to keep that distance away from Surasak. Use that tactical know-how that has allowed him to become the Rajdam Nurna Stadium champion. All right, let's see what happens here in the third and final round. Surasak's gonna do what we saw in round number two, and that's come out 
and give everything he's got to Chai Lai. Oh! And Chai Lai can stay on his feet throughout this first, what, minute and a half? And he'll be through. These are big shots, though. Surasaka throwing. Woo! Troubling view. Oh, oh, big elbow. Big sneaky elbow. Here comes Surasaka once again. Here you can see he's neutralizing the attacks. Causing Surasak to tire as well. Try that completely now on the back foot. It's kind of going now. Try that in control. Almost guaranteed to go to the final four. Oh, big left hand. Try that holds on. The experience now. Try that. Wasting wow. time. Surasak. Big left hand connected though. Suicide's got the power he needs to drop anybody. I agree. Anyone in the featherweight division, without a doubt. But it's about finding those shots, which is so difficult against these fighters. And he goes with that left hand once again. Now that Suicide is really looking to only just use those hands, not really switching it up, making it even more difficult to find his target. Final. Oh. One minute and 40 seconds now on at the clock. <laughs> Left hand kick from Chayla. Attempted right hook there from Surasak. Oh, another elbow through the guard there from Chayla. <laughs> Big hands coming from Surasak. We didn't see these fighters compete, but it, maybe for uh, in an event here on RWS, it'd be great to see Suicide against your concert somewhere Ooh. down the line. If you want to fight together, Absolutely. just for some fun. Absolutely. Yeah, Chaila now com in complete control. He is indeed. Now taking oh. his time. Seems Using the ring there well. Oh, and again. It's been a great performance here by the former champion. He doesn't go without three. And here it comes. And a fourth one. So as well, of course, it was view. We got that victory over him in the first round of the group stages. But it was Chyla who defeated view to defend the Rajnam Mohan Stadium title belt before Yolting came along to defeat him. Mm. I wonder if we'll see these two in the final stage. Of course, they'll have a semi-final matchup against two fighters from Group B first, and we will find out who those fighters are next week. But for now, Chyla Paul Lakboom has just booked his place into the final four of this year's RWS Featherweight Tournament. Congratulations to him and his team. Shake it there from Suicide. A masterful performance by Chai Lai. Did suffer a, a few punches in round number one, but apart from that, it was him very much on top throughout the entire three rounds. And just proved to the world why he is one of the best. Of course, in Group B, we've got Brooke Gordon, we've got Ron Chai as well. Some good fighters in that group. There was those hands. Surasak really does possess big punches. One of the strongest punches in the tournament. All right, we'll make this one official. And then next up, boys and girls, it is a Rajnamon Stadium title fight. Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges. Score is about 30 to 27. Declare your winner by way of unanimous decision! <laughs>